There are certain types of beliefs that have the hierarchy of a religion, the guilt, fear, and dogma of a religion, the trappings of a religion, the ideology of a religion, but it does not include a belief in a higher power. And there is no actual path to redemption. If the belief considers you to be a bad person, especially if you said something unacceptable, then that's it. You're a bad person. There's no coming back. It is usually the belief that we should use a dogmatic, scholarly-based ideological framework to dismantle the prevailing social systems that make up society. These beliefs are in direct conflict with Abrahamic beliefs that have their own hierarchy, dogma, guilt, trappings, and ideologies. And there usually is a path to redemption. People are forgiven. You can't really mix these two distinctly different types of beliefs and have a coherent belief system. Yes, there are people who try to combine the two or have some sort of mix between the two, and their beliefs fall apart at the slightest critique. These things just don't mix. It's like oil and water. Now, I suppose there is an emulsifying agent that could be introduced, but I just don't see that going well, as it would probably be an oppressive government. If you're going to promote multiculturalism, you have to accept that people are going to hold beliefs that you find abhorrent, and they may even state those beliefs. They probably find your beliefs to be just as abhorrent. You're free to say them, and they're free to say how much they hate your beliefs, and the other way around. That's how it's supposed to work. At least I thought that's how it's supposed to work. Again, as long as someone isn't promoting violence, or provably running a harassment campaign, or anything similar that would be breaking laws, this is how an online public town square should work, in my opinion. Yeah, if it's too hot for you, definitely get out of the kitchen. If you can't handle both sides being able to have their say, with their own brands of meanness, and you truly believe that unless you put a muzzle on one side that fascism will result, then yeah, you should get out of the kitchen. Please don't make me a sandwich. Thanks.